Hey guys, hope you're all well. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a really quick video on how I like to um, output my floor plans and print to scale with files from Rhino. Now, I'm using Rhino 7, but you can use whatever version you want. Okay, first I'm going to start with my top-down view, and I'm just going to go ahead and quickly hide all of the stuff I don't want to be in my floor plan. Okay, so now that I've done that, if we go on to my top-down view, here you can see all the elements I want to include on my floor plan. Um, keep in mind, if I'm doing the second floor, it, you will be able to see the stuff below it, which is why I like to do a floor at a time. I'll show you that afterwards. Okay, so now we have um, our ground floor plan. We're going to go File, Print. Now, it, yours will probably be defaulted to Microsoft XP or something like this. What I'm going to select is you can either do Adobe PDF or Rhino PDF. I'm going to do Rhino PDF for now. Select your size, so I would like it A3, and I'm going to choose Landscape. For me, because I like to take this into Illustrator, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick with black and white and I'm going to leave it on vector output. This will mean that um, each line is mathematically drawn and I can rescale this um, as much as I want without deforming the image. Okay, so now we've chosen that, we're going to go to View and Output Scale. You can choose specific views if you want here, and you can also use saved camera views. Okay, so now we have our viewpoint, we have our top view selected. I'm going to go down to Scale here, and I'm going to choose whatever scale I want to use. So, because I'm doing this on A3, I'm going to choose Scale 1 to 200. <laughs> and now I'm going to select Window, and this will show where it is showing it. So, um, if you click one of these corners, it will just resize it, so don't, I, I would avoid doing this. Um, I'm going to type move, I'm going to select a corner, and I'm going to place it roughly over this. And then hit enter. And now, um, our form is, our sh uh, mass is centered on the page. Okay, so now we have our finished um, image here. You can change your line weight or margins, but I, I like to leave this as it is and do all that in a different program. I'm now going to hit print and you'll find a pop-up window come up and you can save this however you want and I am save it appropriately so you can access it later. Okay, so now we're in Illustrator, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go File, Open and I'm going to open um, what we just saved. Now, as you can see, because these are solid objects and not lines, um, Rhino adds these cross-section lines, the, these just um, lines on eight axes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around and clean this model up. Uh, you can do this by simply clicking on a line and deleting it. And if there are more complex geometries, you can manually go in and alter each point. Okay, so now you've removed all your lines, um, the model should be looking quite nice. Now, now we're in Illustrator, this is where I would change all your line weights, etc. Um, if you simply select an area, you can go onto your stroke and you can change the stroke. And this, if you manually select all the walls, you can make them thicker or you can fill them. And very quickly, we're going to go back to Rhino and we're going to do the same thing for the second floor. So I'm going to hide all my ground floor objects and I'm going to show my top floor objects. Okay, that should be it. I'm also going to hide my path and my slopes. So now this should be the line work for the second floor and I'm just going to do the exact same thing and take it into Illustrator. And finally, once you've taken that into Illustrator and cleaned it up, this will be your final result. And again, you can go ahead and change all your line weights, etc. I um, hope this video was helpful, guys. Um, if there's any other requests for stuff to do, let me know. And I hope you're all keeping well.